Moving, traveling, and living with a partner in the Philippines is a completely different lifestyle that will impact the cost of living and living expenses. This decision will have advantages and disadvantages for expats, travelers, and retirees, so let's break this down. First of all, we need to know the average cost of a single adult living independently, and the average cost of an individual living with a partner. So, I have two slides to show you. This is the first slide, and as we can see on the left, there is a slight difference in some of the major expenses in the Philippines. Some couples have a 50-50 split, some have a 90-10 split, so instead I've done a 70-30 split. But naturally, this will depend on your relationship and how much your partner agrees to pay. Here on the second slide, we can see that many expenses are not reduced by traveling or living with a partner. Another area of consideration when looking at the average cost of living in the Philippines as a couple is the lifestyle compared to the costs. For example, you may be able to save more money living with a Filipino due to the cooking at home, buying cheap foods from the market, and so on. Still, if you are dating a local or you're in a relationship, you may end up spending extra money anyways. Nevertheless, Nevertheless, I asked a few close friends about this, and the feedback that I received was that even though living with a partner is cheaper in the Philippines in general, it does balance itself out long term compared to being single. However, interestingly enough, from my research focusing on the house prices, rental costs, and the biggest expenses, I found the Mindanao region to be one of the cheapest areas in the Philippines for couples. This might be because two and three bedroom accommodations were slightly cheaper in this area and electricity prices were also lower in this region compared to other areas of the Philippines. However, I must stress that expenses such as electricity will depend on your usage. The areas in green were typically the cheapest areas for couples and the red were the most expensive. But what about if you are looking to save money while living in the Philippines as a couple? Living on the city's outskirts can sometimes save up to 15% compared to living in the city centre. Doing your shopping in local supermarkets and avoiding food delivery services can also save couples a lot of money. Another quick tip is to obtain a couple's membership with the fitness centres and the insurance companies. So, with everything being considered, is it better to be living in the Philippines as a singleton or is being in a relationship a much better option? For many expats, the biggest expense is accommodation, and being in a relationship can lead to some big savings in this department, resulting in a much lower cost of living in the Philippines. However, if you are the breadwinner in your relationship and pay for most expenses, you will naturally need to spend more money. However, if you are dating a local Filipino, you may find several ways to save money, and Filipinos can often find the best prices in the most competitive markets. So, which is best comes down to your own preferences, as both lifestyles are achievable without costing the world. Some couples live on $2,500 a month in the Philippines, and you may find this to be much lower if you're dating a local. But if you are both expats, you may wish to budget slightly more. $3,000 for a couple is often a recommended target, depending on your lifestyle. If you are looking for more information, take a look at this latest video where we explored updates on living in the Philippines.